Hi, this is Ray Blackledge from Gamma Ray Crafts. I'm back today doing something I've been seeing a lot on the different forums and I'm really excited to have finally found a store with this particular new kind of discovered for pouring paint in stock because um, I've been going all over for a couple of weeks trying to find it in the white. Um, well, what it is, is this Deco Art Satin Enamels. Um, this is, I found it in the Pure White. And people are using this to get a really cloudy, um, billowing effect without using any, without using any silicone in their pores. And it's this, it's this really neat white cell effect. And so, I actually have a couple of pores set up planned for tonight, and this is the first one. I'm using, um, I have kind of my basic um, artist white paint it's mixed with about 20% of the satin enamel and then mixed about one part paint to two parts um, flood flow troll and then a little bit of water to kind of thin it out. It's got that warm honey drizzle off the mixing stick. I've also used my Prussian Blue. Um, it's kind of neat, um, Viridian Hue. I get this at AC Moore. Uh, it's kind of this kind of tealy green color. And this one, which I mix um, white with a little bit of the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue to get this really nice kind of ice blue color I like. Um, I use that quite a bit in my paintings. Um, so my plan tonight is to do just a basic, um, on a white ground, to do a straight pour using these colors and hopefully get that really nice cloud effect to pop up. So first thing I want to do is get on my nice white base coat um, and my base is just one part titanium white um, basic acrylic um, and then three parts flood um, the flow trawl and then just a little bit of water added in to thin it up a little bit. So because I'm actually planning on leaving a bit of negative space, um, normally I use about 5 ounces for a 12 by 12 canvas. Um, I have my 5 ounce cup here. I'm actually going to use closer to 4 ounces so I have a little bit. I know I'm going to leave some white areas so I don't need quite as much paint. And also with this effect you want to stretch it a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to put just a little bit of my white ground white, which is the white without the enamel in it in the bottom. Um, then go ahead and start layering. I'm actually starting with my most transparent color, which is the darkest one, which is the Prussian blue, which is a semi-transparent. I'm planning on putting about three layers of this white in, so I'm going to go ahead and put that first layer in. put a little more of the white in now. I'm going to go through the colors once more. The Prussian blue. The Viridian. OK. 
kind of that ice blue I mix up. It's a little metallic. And put a little bit more of the enamel white on the top. So the videos, I've been watched quite a few of these before trying this myself, and the one that I found most useful are the ones from Gina DeLuca. If you haven't checked out her channel yet, I would really um, look up her videos, because those are the ones, when I was starting out and over you know, the past year, I have found her videos to be some of the most helpful. Um, yeah, just really lots of really innovative and new kind of color combos and techniques and lots of good information. So I really recommend checking her out if you haven't already. But we're going to go ahead and just go for this. So just a straight pour. So it's not a tree ring. And you kind of just fairly quickly and let gravity mix these up. And stop it there. already looks pretty cool. I like the way that those blues came out on both sides. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my little kitchen torch just to get some of the bubbles that pop up because you always get a lot of bubbles with a straight pour because you kind of do it all that a um, little faster. You let the gravity go. And let this settle for a minute just decide. Um, leaving my negative space. I'm planning, I think, to leave this side be where it's stretched out and leave the white on this edge. It's my initial plan here. And let's just start by moving it around and seeing how it looks once we start stretching. I'm just going to go ahead and move it slow and get that weight of the paint back to center. And I think we're gonna go ahead and speed this up, but I'm gonna stretch it kind of to the corners and off to the side and just each time tilt and go back to the center until I'm kind of happy with where this is going, so.
Okay, so this kind of, you know, this enamel gives it just this really weird kind of ethereal effect. And this one, I'm seeing a lot in the way that this white is interacting with the viridian hue in here. All this kind of kind of cloudiness that is all being caused by that enamel paint and it's kind of almost like a billowing style of cell and I just think that that's kind of a really just different effect and I'm gonna be interested to see over the next couple hours as this sits kind of if it changes if I get a few more cells popping up in fact even just sitting here I'm seeing more kind of white popping up in this area here so I'm gonna stop the video for now but then I'm probably tomorrow night pop this back under once it's dry and let you all check it out so thank you hi so it's been about two days and this painting is just about dry now and there's just a couple little damp spots in the middle but at this point I think it's changed any it's gonna change and I think it dried really well I'm just gonna get a couple of close-up shots here for you um, the biggest change and it's anytime you work on canvas you're gonna start getting that canvas texture showing through the paint as the paint dries um, but otherwise I think everything pretty much stayed pretty well as it was when it was wet I didn't have any cracking issues um, and overall I'm really happy with this one I think actually some of my favorite parts are these little um, green cells that popped up in the blue really little marbles so there we go there's uh, was my first piece using the scent and enamel um, I hope that helps some of you guys out and inspires you to create your own pieces. Hope you all have a great day.